guys, this is the Great Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Now today, I'm continuing my How to Not Suck and Become Unstoppable in-depth hero guide series. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Battlefront 2. But I'm not just going to show you how to play him. I'm going to show you the whole shebang like I do in this series, including striking, ability combos, use of stamina, star cards, and a bunch of other tips and tricks, and I do have quite a bit of tips and tricks to show you, so be sure to stay till the very end because the tips at the end are just as important as the ones in the beginning. Also, if you want to know how to lightsaber duel in general, or just how to use blast heroes against saber heroes, as well as just how to use other heroes, then be sure to check out those guides on the channel once you're done with this video. All of those links will be in the description. Now that we got that out of the way, if you like these types of videos or like this series, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. It's free and it helps me out. Now let's start off with some basic things about Luke Skywalker. Luke has 750 health and 200 base health regen, which is about the standard lightsaber wielder. His health is average, but his health regen is only 200 rather than the average, which is at 250. And for those that don't know what a health regen pool is, it is basically when you take a ton of damage, you can heal back up to 200 HP, meaning that you don't get all of your health back. Although, there is still a way of getting all of your health back if you end up taking a lot more damage than you initially thought, and that would be through his passive ability, which all the heroes have with the the exception of Bosk, and that is health on elimination. And basically what a passive ability is, is that you have it no matter what, you don't even need any star cards to have it. You automatically have it even at level 1. And that passive ability makes it where Luke can regain health for each defeated enemy. You get 20 health back for each trooper or reinforcement you kill, and 100 health back for an enemy hero. Now regarding Luke's stamina pool, it's pretty good. I would say his is about average. But with star cards, which we will get into later on in the video, can actually improve that so much more. And if you guys don't know where to see a stamina bar, it's right above the health bar at the bottom of the screen. It's a bluish white color until you get low, which in that case it will turn red and it depletes when you swing or block. And with Luke's base stamina, you can swing to a total of 10 times before running out of stamina. Now, I did also want to mention that it will take less stamina for you to block than to swing, so be sure to use that to your advantage in whatever situation you may be in. Luke also has a base of two normal dodges which can be very effective when timing them right because they can get you out of a lightsaber combo and also give you the ability to dodge incoming attacks whether it's the opponent's basic attack or their abilities. And what I mean by that is that Luke has two dodges which will continually recharge and if you time them correctly you can avoid an attack. For example, let's say Darth Vader is about to force choke you with his ability, you can dodge and if you are in the middle of your dodge animation then you won't be affected at all by it and that goes for all dodges. Just notice I did say dodges and not dashes because they are different. Now about his base lightsaber damage, you can do about 130 damage from the front and about 160 damage from behind, which means that you can one shot any of the infantry classes from the back with the exception of the heavy class. Although Luke does have a very fast swing speed compared to a lot of other heroes, so just keep that in mind and use that to your advantage in your movement. For example, if you're just trying to get a quick kill and get out of the area, you can do that because of his high damage, fast swing speed, and his fast movement in general. But just remember that you won't regen as much health, so just be careful if there's a lot of enemies around because it's not a great idea to stay and get the kill because you may die or take a lot more damage than you anticipated. It's just better if you leave, regain what health you can, and then go back and kick some butt with your abilities. Now before I talk about his abilities, let's go over all of his strikes. Now remember, he has some decent damage strikes that are pretty fast, so be sure to try and combo some of these moves together and you'll see that you'll be able to take out your opponent very very quickly. So first off, you have his basic attack, then his right dash attack, then his left dash attack, then his back dash attack, then his front dash attack, then his lunge attack, then his small jump attack, and then he even has a normal jump attack. Now let's continue to talk about his three abilities. His middle one is called Repulse, and that allows Luke to send a burst of force energy out from the ground, dealing damage to any enemies nearby. Meaning that you will knock all of your enemies down while doing damage to them in a 360 degree radius. That ability does do about 75 damage against heroes and about 130 damage to basic infantry and reinforcements while the ability has an 18 second cooldown. Just be careful when you do activate this ability because it does have an activation animation, meaning you will be left vulnerable upon activation, which basically means that you may take a lot of damage while activating this, so just be careful when you activate it. 
Plus, this ability can bug out sometimes and the force power just doesn't always work. So don't rely on too much, especially if you're on low health. Plus, you just don't want to do this when you're at low health in front of a lot of enemies because a smart player will punish you for it. Now moving on to his left ability, which is called Push, it is where Luke Skywalker can push his enemies in front of him, knocking them over ledges or into danger. As for the damage that the ability does, it's about 150 damage to basic infantry and reinforcements, meaning it will one-shot Assault, Officer, and Specialist. Although it only does 90 damage to villains and it has a 20 second cooldown, and it's just like I said with his repulse ability, I wouldn't really rely on this too much because it can bug out occasionally and you can get punished for it as long as your opponent knows what they're doing. But the good thing is that the animation is a lot faster and you can actually use this ability in midair as you're jumping up or even at the peak of your jump, which I would recommend doing in most situations. But just remember that you are vulnerable when jumping in midair, so just keep that in mind when going against those enemy heroes. Plus, I would not activate that ability on your way down because then once you hit the ground, you will do that push animation. And basically what I'm saying is that you can only do this in midair as you're going up to your peak. Otherwise, you just got to wait till you get back down. Now, moving on to his right ability, he has Rush. And Rush allows Luke Skywalker to enhance his speed and quickly move in any direction while swinging his lightsaber. And basically what that means is that Luke does a quick dash damaging anyone in his path. And this does about 100 damage but it does have a pretty big hitbox and he has two of them before the full ability goes into cooldown. Also, remember that you can be punished for doing that rush ability, so just be aware of your surroundings before you use it. Now, for this part of the video, I'm gonna be going over my hero mode star cards, which includes heroes versus villains and hero showdown, as well as giving you guys some tips for those modes, and my large scale mode star cards, which include Galactic Assault and Supremacy, as well as giving you guys some more tips and tricks for those modes as well. So let's get started with my hero mode star cards. Now, before I do say them, I do wanna say that all the star cards are pretty good, especially for Luke Skywalker, and it's really up to you and your play style. But after playing the game for a while and figuring out my play style, these these are the star cards that work best for me. Now for the hero modes, I go with Epicenter, Jedi Reflexes, and Jedi Fighter. I go with Epicenter because it gives Luke the ability to do 40 more damage if they're within half the radius of Repulse, which is honestly a great card in my opinion, because instead of just doing 75 damage against heroes, it can do a whopping 115 damage. But what makes this card so great is when you see an enemy at low health and they're just block spamming. They're not expecting Luke to go through their block because his abilities aren't supposed to do that. But with this star card equipped, you can do an extra 40 damage through their block. Meaning, even if they're doing their blocking animation, they will still receive 40 damage. Then I chose the star card Jedi Reflexes because that allows Luke to do an extra rush. The recharge time is slightly increased by 10%, but honestly you can't even really tell a difference, and that extra rush really comes in handy, especially when you try and combo it with other moves like a lunge attack rush attack combo. Then I chose my last star card Jedi Fighter because your melee strikes and blaster deflections both drain less stamina by 35%, which means you get 35% more stamina. And that means you can just go from 10 swings to 16, which can really come in handy when you're going against those other villains or when there's a lot of troopers around. Now, if you don't like my main three choices, there is another two star cards I would recommend depending on the map. And that would be Stronger Push if you're on a map with ledges. That way you can double the knockback and Rush Immunity where you can get 15% damage reduction for 3 seconds after you dash and if you combo that with the extra dash star card then you can be really hard to kill especially if your opponent tries to punish you for using those dash attacks. And now that you guys know why I chose those cards for hero modes I can give you a quick few tips on how to take out those annoying enemy heroes. So one skill you gotta learn is pairing. If you don't know how to do it be sure to check the description for another video I've made because I go into depth on it. Now, besides pairing, comboing your abilities and knowing your opponent's character is really useful. For example, one strategy you could do is dash towards your opponent to the point where you're right behind them, repulse, then strike them a few times, but if you happen to be in danger by another hero, you could just push them away and then deal with that guy, or if you're in a 1v1 situation, you can just use another dash attack towards him, get a few hits in, maybe do some hook attacks, which is basically where you're just dashing or jumping behind your enemy to get those strikes in. And if they're low enough and blocking, finish them off with their repulse if it's charged. Just overall, be sure to use Luke's fast movement and fast swing speed to your advantage. Now, if you're going against a blaster user, you need to close that distance. So I would recommend dashing, 
but if you're taking too much damage just trying to dash then i would dodge side to side and start jumping that way it's hard for them to hit you now you can just hold up your block as you're just walking towards them to start closing that distance but just be aware of your stamina and those stuns that can go through your block now for the larger scale game modes it really just depends on my mood because luke has lots of good star cards but mainly i go with the star cards jedi reflexes jedi fighter and intensify now i already told you guys why i like jedi reflexes and jedi fighter but i also went with intensify which allows luke's damage to increase up to 36 more damage meaning hitting troopers from the front will deal not 130 damage, but 166, which will one-shot all basic infantry except for heavies. And if you add that when hitting them in the back, which goes from 160 to 196, that almost one-shots a heavy. Now, the trick to this card is that you only get two damage extra at a time by defeating a trooper or doing 200 damage to villains with the maximum being 36 extra damage when the card is fully upgraded. Now, I will say this card is an absolute game changer if you can get some kills in those larger scale game modes, but if you're not that good at it yet, don't worry, everyone has to start somewhere in practice. And that's exactly what this guide is for. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips as well as some other great star cards that I also go with while practicing, that way you don't end up wasting a slot. So if you don't wanna use those cards, I like to also switch it up from time to time and go with Rush Immunity, Epicenter, and Extended Push Reach. I've already explained why I like Rush Immunity and Epicenter, but I want to dive in a bit more since we're dealing with a different mode. Epicenter is great in these modes, and you may disagree with me, and that's okay, but I can't tell you how many times I've been able to one-shot infantry with that card equipped, because Repulse goes from a basic 130 damage, which can't one-shot, to 170 damage, which can one-shot everyone except for heavies, as long as they're within half the radius, which is fine for me, because most of the time I use that ability, there's a few people around me and I'm surrounded. Then I would go with the extended push reach because it gives an increased area effect on my force push by 30% which can result in you getting more kills if your enemies are more spread out. Now for some tips that I can give you in those modes like Galactic Assault and Supremacy is to constantly be moving around and to use your left ability in the air as well as using your dashes when you can. That way you're harder to hit and you do damage as you're moving forward. Another good combo that you could use in these modes is to use your dash to get in and out of certain situations. For example, one combo I like to do is to dash inside a dangerous area, repulse, get a couple of strikes in if I can, and then dash back out, recover what health I can, and finish off any remaining enemies with my force push if there's any left. Also, just keep in mind that you have an average lunge distance, so also be sure to use that to your advantage as you're running after an enemy. Just overall, be aware of your surroundings and be careful when you use those abilities because they do have an activation animation and you are left vulnerable, which means you can die pretty quick if they try and punish you for you not timing your ability right, or even if the ability bugs out and doesn't work. Now, if you want to know some good maps that you can do decent with Luke, and I'm not saying you can't do good with him on any of the other maps because you definitely can, you can honestly do great with him no matter the map as long as he's in the right hands, but if you're wanting to practice with Luke, a lot of the original trilogy maps are great for him in my opinion, such as Death Star 2, Endor, even Naboo, Starkiller Base, Tatooine, and Scarif are all really great maps. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this hero guide. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking the video. If you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it. But if any of you guys have any questions, comments, or constructive criticism, please put them all in the comments down below because I do read and respond to them. Seriously, some people don't ask me questions because they don't think I'm going to answer them or they don't want to bother me. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? Me not answer? Come on, remember, I'm here to help you guys out. Also, remember that there's always improvement that can be made. So be sure to let me know what I can do better in all of these future hero guides. And if you guys are interested in those future hero guides, Battlefront 2 in general, just everything Star Wars, or just want to help me out, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing while hitting that notification bell down below so you never miss a video. And if you guys have any other tips for Luke Skywalker that you guys can give, be sure to do so in the comments down below because there's tons of tips and different strategies out there so others may learn from the comment section as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you always.